Now, there are a lot of benefits of using VDI as opposed to using regular desktop computers. So a few of the benefits are that it makes it easy on administration. You can put all applications and software on one computer, one time. Scaling. You can spin your desktops up and down if you have employees leaving or coming. You can spin them up and down very, very easily. Number two, it greatly benefits the security of your desktop. So for uh, lost computers, they're really big for identity management, for authorizing the access and viewing of controls. That's something you're going to be hearing a lot more about, how users can get in and access the data that's in their network. For USBs, this is something that's really cool and useful with VDI, is that a number of companies have issues with employees who steal information using a USB stick. They download the information, stick it on a USB stick, and bring it on to another company. Well, with VDI, you can restrict access of any USBs or anything like that. So it negates that issue altogether. So a number of security benefits. Then there are hard costs. So you can use zero clients or thin clients. And these are machines, they're very uh, light machines. They don't have all the RAM and the CPU and all the processing power of a computer. They're basically just video players and they're playing the video that's being streamed into that thin client or zero client from that virtual machine. And there are a lot of energy savings from the using of thin clients that take up less power than a number of computers, than hundreds of computers or thousands of computers that are running these applications. Productivity. So you can access very large files with VDI, like video files and graphics files and AutoCAD files, without spending a long time and using lots of energy loading them on a regular device. And there's an ease of information sharing and collaboration. Uh, you can make the same data available with all users and on all networks. So um, you, know, you don't have to send an email or store things in Dropbox somewhere, right? They're all on the same network with VDI. And another benefit of VDI, and this is all encompassing of everything we've been talking about, is that it's a benefit for remote users and a benefit for remote locations, where all of these different desktops and all these different devices can all be managed in one central location with the security and the administration and the hard cost is all centralized. And reporting. The reporting with VDI is amazing. You can see everything about all your users, what they're using on their networks, what their application performance is, what their desktop performance is, where they're having issues. Very easy to monitor when you're using VDI. So uh, next we're going to talk about the drawbacks of VDI and there are a few.